But first, coffee. Cheers to 2018. What's up guys? Welcome back to Life with Donna. I hope that 2018 is off to a great start. And if it's not, today I'm gonna to give you a few tips to make the most out of this year with some simple tips that you can follow throughout the year that's gonna help you have a successful 2018 because we all want more success, don't we? So if you wanna learn about my tips, please keep watching. Also, if you're new today to this channel, please don't leave without subscribing to get more vlogs like this one. Okay guys, tip number one is to write down your goals. I know you've heard it before, but it's so important to write down our goals because it gives you an opportunity to look back at your progress, look at what you haven't accomplished, get yourself a good journal like this one where you can really write down everything that God is speaking to you, what you're expecting out of 2018, and really follow through with it. You know, one of the things that I do in the beginning of the year that really sets me up for a successful year is to write down my goals, but I also get to look back at the previous goals of the past year, and I get to check off what I've accomplished, and if I haven't accomplished a goal, I can add it to my list for this year. But it's so important and so biblical as well, because you know, in Habakkuk 2.2, the word of God reads, then the Lord replied, write down the revelation and make it plain on tablets so that a herald may run with it. And so God said it himself, you know, how important it is to write it down, make it plain so that you can run the race and, and finish off, you know, what you've already started. Tip number two is to go on a fast or also detox. Now, before I tell you a little bit more about this goal, I want to give you a disclaimer. I am not a doctor. Please consult with your physician if you want to start a fast or a detox because he will be able to tell you what you can do, what you can't do, he or she. Um, but I think it's very important to fast. You know, so many people in the Bible fasted. Daniel fasted, Esther fasted, David fasted. You know, we have a lot of examples. Jesus fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. So, you know, it's over and over in the Bible. but. It's so important because it draws you closer to God, who is the one that's gonna help you accomplish all of your goals and all of your plans. But it also makes you sensitive to his voice. And so you're able to hear very clearly what God wants you to do, where, where he's leading you to. But also it has a lot of physical benefits as well. You know, one of the major benefits of fasting is that it really detoxes your body. You know, because being American, you know, living in, in the US, you know, you. We eat so many things that are really, really bad for us. We don't even realize that they're bad for us, you know, because it's man-made stuff that has a, a big shelf life. And so, you know, when you're going on this fast, you're not supposed to eat any of that stuff. So any processed foods, fast foods especially, you know, you stop eating that for 21 days, which is the fast that I'm gonna be doing, is a 21 day fast, and it really clears your mind. But I mean, there's so many other types of fasts you can do, even if it's just a one day fast, something that's really gonna help you detox your body and, and make it clear to see where God is leading you to. So I highly encourage you, but again, consult with your doctor before you do any fasts. Tip number three is to pray about a specific word you know, a few years ago, God showed me the importance of having a word for in the beginning of the year that's gonna set you on the right path for the entire year. Now, this word is gonna be a God-given word that God gives you, so that's why I say pray about it, because he's gonna be able to show you what what this year is going to entail and you're going to be able to follow it and and it's just a simple way to look back at something that you already know god planned for you tip number four is to get more sleep i think we underestimate the power that sleep has over our lives i mean we really need to sleep and take care of our bodies because that's going to make us more more um, efficient in the things that we're doing throughout the year you know doctors and you know everywhere you read that the minimum sleep required for us is about eight hours per day so i would strive for that you know i know there's people that can get by with less but i just really want to encourage you that if you're not taking that time to really sleep and take care of yourself that you should do that in 2018 because that's going to help you it's going to help you be more active it's going to help you strive for better and do better in everything that you're doing because you're gonna be giving your body the proper rest that it needs. So get more sleep. Tip number five is to read your Bible every single day. 
I believe with all my heart that every single day God is trying to speak to his children. There's something he's trying to tell you every single day of your life. And so if you're reading your word, you're being open and receptive to what he has to say about you. But if you don't open it up, then you're never going to know what God's plans and purposes are for your life. Tip number six is spend more time with the ones that you love. There's something so special about spending time with family, with friends, people that you know have your best interests at heart. Because let's face it, a lot of times life is not the greatest. You know, there's times where life is really hard. You want to have people that you can turn to. And, and you want to cultivate those relationships. So it's so important to just really give some time to your friends, your family, you know, the people that you know are always going to be there for you no matter what. And it just, it makes you feel good. You know, like I know when I'm around my mom, I just love being around her. She's just, she's so special to me, not just because she's my mom, but because she's my biggest cheerleader and just being able to be around her just makes me feel so good. So spend more time with the ones that you love. And my final tip for you today is to take care of your temple. Yes, yes, I went there because I think it's so important. And I know if you've been following me, you know I'm big on this, but it's so important to take care of our temples. Our bodies are precious to God. You know, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians 6, 19 through 20, that our bodies are the temple of the precious holy spirit so we need to take care of our bodies and so that means exercise but not just exercise because you can exercise all day every day but if you're not eating proper nutrition that's going to be healthy and good for your body then you're missing out too because you know they both go hand in hand so eat well eat healthy and also exercise it's all about you know having balance i'm not saying you have to go on this strict diet you know for the rest of your life but i am saying that you know you should be watching what you're eating because you know good food good quality food will make you feel better it'll make you think better it'll make you sleep better it, it has so many benefits you know so eat healthy exercise and you're taking care of your body as you're doing it and that is god's will for your life all right guys, well that is all my tips for you today. Thank you so much for being a part of my channel, Life with Donna. I'm so excited that you tuned in today. I am believing God for amazing things for you in 2018. You know, I just, I believe that the best is yet to come for you and that we've only just scratched the surface. God has so much more in store. He is a big God. He is capable of big and mighty things that we don't even know of. But if we continue to have a relationship with him and seek his face and trust in him in the process when things get hard, that he has our best interests at heart and that he will guide us along the way, I promise you, you will never regret it. So thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you on my next vlog. Happy New Year. Love you guys. Bye-bye.